Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Here you'll see the photo that I cropped in the previous video. And let's say I want to export this outside of the iPhoto system. I want this to be a separate JPEG file for whatever reason. Maybe I want to email it to someone. I want to upload it to a website like Facebook, something like that. Uh, burn it to a CD. Who knows? Um, if you remember in the last video, I constrained this uh, cropping to 400 by 600. But that's not really 400 by 600 pixels. It's a 400 by 600 proportion. Let's say I need to upload this to a website and they require the photo to be 400 by 600. Well, the thing to do is under File, go to the Export option, and in the File Export tab here, I'll leave the kind as JPEG. Uh, the quality, um, I'll just leave as, ma I'll make maximum. Um, this is a trade-off between how good do you want the photo to be, which obviously will be a small, a larger file size, or if you're willing to go with a lesser quality photo, the file will be smaller. But I don't really care about the size of the file right now because 400 by 600 is going to be a pretty small file anyway. Um, here you'll see size has started as full size. That will not shrink the photo at all. So um, I think this was a 3,000 by 2,000 or so pixels. So the portion that I cropped is still going to be you know, over, over a few thousand. To set the 400 by 600 that my mythical website requires me to have, I'll go to the custom option here on size. And now it says max dimension. The other options here are height and width, but uh, I'll just leave it at dimension. Basically, when I type 600 here, that's saying the largest height or width will be 600 pixels. Well, since I've cropped it to 400 by 600, I know that this is going to change the width to 600 and then the height will automatically be 400. And here for the file name, I can use the original file name or I can change it to the title or, or anything else there. So once I've set all that, I can export the file. And once again, I get one more chance to change the name. And I guess I will here. I'll just say Steve on Segway on the Beach. And let me just put that right on the desktop so you can see it show up. And in a few seconds, there's the file over there. And if I hit the space bar on that, it will give me a little preview of it. So there you go. That's all there is to exporting an image from iPhoto out to the file system, like the desktop here. And how to use that file export option to constrain the number of pixels of the um, file. Here I'll do a control click on here and uh, get info and you can see that the dimensions of the file are 600 by 400. So just like the website requires from me.